Hey viewers, welcome to another game of Schedule Pro Gamer. Today we are doing another StarCraft 2 game, and today we are playing Oh My Groin as the Zerg in the top right versus Area Kitty as the Protoss in the bottom left. So this is just a normal match, no tournament or anything like that. Just uh, one of the replays that was recommended on the site where I get my replays. And um, yeah, we're just going to have to see how what these players make of it. So, not uh, really famous players this time, or maybe they are famous, but I don't know them. Which, um, which could be, well, could mean nothing. Anyway, we see the early expand here coming up. Uh, well, the first pylon, and then he's going to um, kind of build some buildings here and hold off. Well, keep a gap open either here or here. Put a cannon behind it, and uh, you should be safe against uh, the early zerklings. On the other side, we will probably see uh, an early expand as well, and some uh, some zerklings to put some pressure on. But um, yeah, he doesn't want to uh, to put too much pressure on because then he would lose the. Uh, the economical advantage that he can create. So the spawning pool goes down before the hatchery. Um, that may have something to do with that probe scouting around in his base. I don't know exactly. Um, I would say that, um, well, he doesn't really care about that probe unless he's building something really spectacular in the beginning. But um, yeah, he's going to build some, uh, some early zerklings to get rid of this probe. But since there is no expansion coming up, this uh, this probe can now prevent the expansion and maybe even build a pylon. So as you can see, the expansion here is up. And um, yeah, he's just going to try to annoy as long as possible, try to deny that experience. Uh, sorry, that uh, expansion. And as I said, maybe going to. Oh no, he missed his opportunity to build that uh, pylon in that spot got uh, juked by the uh, by the drone there and the drone actually managing to morph into an ex uh, a hatchery so uh, expansion coming up for both of them it's just that this one is um, well was up a little bit earlier uh, but yeah that shouldn't make too much of a difference the zerglings coming out now and because of that uh, early uh, spawning pool and why are these guys just running with the probe anyway because of that early spawning pool he didn't really uh, fear the pylon going down because he would have uh, zerklings out pretty quickly and zerklings can take down a pylon pretty quickly and so that should all be okay uh, the 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 photon cannon comes up a little bit too late, so two zerklings in the base. Two zerklings should not be too much of a problem. Um, with the first stalker coming out, they will die, so they will have to make use of this time that they have. And actually taking down this probe pretty low. This probe losing his shields, and this probe also losing his shields. Um, yeah, so he's just going to retreat here. Just go back to his normal base, to his main base, to mine, for those few seconds that he doesn't have anything. Uh, yeah, the cybernetic score is coming up, and here you have that little gap that I was talking about. Uh, so he can still run his units out through here, but the Zerg player will have to run all the way through here to get to this ramp. And that gives the photon cannon some time to shoot at it. Uh, or he can go through the minion lines. Uh, the mineral lines of course but yeah that would be risky as well especially with some stalkers out or anything like that this first stalker is coming out now and there it is it's going to uh, make short work of these, uh, these these zerklings but the zerklings have caused some uh, distraction from that economical uh, well the economical advantage of that um, that base and therefore this base is actually up sooner than the Protoss base. So those two Zerklings doing quite a lot of work. And uh, look at the scout. It can't be seen. As you can see, he can't... Oh, he can actually see the... Thing. Yeah, there you go. There is a spot where you can't see it. And um, he does see it now. 
I'm not sure why he could see that because he's not supposed to be able to see that uh, because it is on the high ground but yeah the overlord gets away at 5 HP or something like that 8 I think it was 8 but Anyway, it gets away at like one hit and then um, is going to run all the way to this corner but is going to get sniped by the first uh, Phoenix coming out. And this first Phoenix is going to have a very easy kill. He can't see it, I assume. No, he can see it. It's even on the minimap. Oh, not sure. Yeah, it is on the minimap. Yeah. This one is also on the minimap and is visible. There you go. I don't know why you waited for that. Hey, whatever. Um, so the other ch team, yeah, he scouted this um, uh, Stargate, but that's about it. You're called a Stargate, right? Yeah. Keep calling everything Stargate, but... This one is actually a Stargate. So Roach Warren up. Uh, Roach is, should do very well against those uh, those Stalkers. Because they do extra damage versus uh, armored units. And the Stalkers, yeah, they uh, they are armored. So uh, I'm just trying to find out what else he's building. He is building some Immortals. So he's going to get a nice uh, army, nice... Uh, di uh, Diversity in his army. And look at this. The queen is going to go down. Did he get it? I think he got it. Yeah, he got it. So, um, it's just a spore crawler now being very annoying. And of course, there will be a spore crawler here as well. So, losing one of the uh, phoenixes to, uh, to get a queen and an overlord. And another overlord. Wow, that's actually working out brilliantly. This one needs to attack this as well. I don't know where the third one went. Anyway, we have an attack coming in. Let's watch that. So we're uh, coming in from two sides. Um, yeah, the Zerklings get held off pretty easily, actually. And the Zerklings not able to sneak in anywhere. Uh, two photon cannons here. That's quite a big investment in uh, in defense. Of course, this is a very vulnerable base. But uh, yeah, with just Zerklings, uh, the photon cannons will do pretty well. And wow, look at these expansions. Expansion coming up here. It is spotted by this uh, this Phoenix, and an expansion over here as well, as well as the three he already had. Well, three bases, not two expansions. Uh, not three expansions uh, that he already had up, but um, that makes for five bases, and obviously that's going to mean a large income. Let's see if he already has an advantage there. Yeah, the Zerg already has a pretty big advantage in the income, and that will only grow, but yeah, army-wise, um, he should be a little bit behind. Well, not a little bit, he is a lot behind. So we'll have to see the units then. It is seven stalkers, seven sentries, and an immortal, and some uh, some phoenixes. But uh, the phoenix only a harassment unit in this case. It can be used very efficiently against uh, minion lines and or worker lines and such. But normally it's not used as that. So we have this coming in, and yeah, the phoenix is just standing over there, just chilling. Not really doing anything. He's microing this at the moment. And uh, really is going to take out this base quite easily before anything comes in to defend it. And... Come on. <laughs> kind of seemed to forget that wha what he was doing. Warping in some, uh, some stalkers to deal with this. But uh, yeah, not the greatest micro that we've ever seen. Because he tends to forget to... Uh, well, to actually do the things that he was doing, he was trying to do. But uh, yeah, well, I don't know how high ELO these players are, or how r high their ranking is, I should say, because ELO is not really a term used by um, the StarCraft community. But yeah, the rankings on these players, I don't know. Um, 
most of the time when people post games, they uh, they are pretty high elo. I rank. Sorry, it's it's just such a standard term by now with League of Legends. It's uh, yeah, I don't know. It's stupid, I know, but. So this road should be picked off by these phoenixes, but they don't see him, or I don't know. I have no clue what's happening. There is a little observer over there. Okay, going with the zealots. I guess he wanted to save his, uh, his energy. Yeah, he's uh, not very high on energy. And oh, no fungal growth co uh, coming out. Yeah, it is fungal growth. The fungal growth could have done very well there, because it could have picked off three of them. And yeah, at the expense of only one guy's energy, and they all have pretty high energy. So yeah, a large number of these uh, investors, was this uh, 12, 14 of them, that's a pretty big deal. Oh, we had them here. 16 roaches, and uh, what are these? Are they just eggs? or? Oh, we have some Corruptors coming out. So the Corruptors, yeah, they're very good against these uh, Colossi, but they do get sniped by the uh, the Stalkers pretty easily. <laughs> Scout coming in. And are we going to see anything else? Okay, so new base coming up over here. The Zirkling did see that. And that's why he sent out that circling in the first place. And he is going to fall back. So his large army grouping up over here. Uh, there's just a little bit of a... Yeah. A strange uh, combination of... Uh, well, kind of the damage dealing units and the casters. Because he, uh, he has a large amount of these uh, investors. But he doesn't really have anything else to deal the damage. Because that is, uh, yeah, he, he kind of doesn't have uh, room in his army for that. He is at max. He just has a lot of these uh, investors going around. Uh, of course, the investors can do very well. They can produce their own army. But this is what normally happens to investors. They get sniped pretty early on in the fight. And there you go, finally, using those spells. Creating a lot of the infested Terrans, but infested Terrans, yeah, they get sniped pretty easily by these uh, Colossi. But the Colossi, no defense, and yeah, he just has to let them die to uh, the, uh, the Corruptors, because there were too many Corruptors, and he wanted to focus on the ground army. So, loses the two Colossi, but that means that these Corruptors are completely useless uh, from that point onwards. And he is going to. Uh, produce more ground army this time. Wow, a mothership coming up. Okay. Uh, that means that he's going to have cloak on everything. And everything will be invisible. And for now there are no invisibility detectors in this army. Well, that means uh, overseers, of course. Because the only thing you can get is an overseer. Broodlords coming up. Wow. Impressive. Only two of them, though. So it's not a big deal. It's not a big part of his army. Uh, Brute Lords normally do very badly in uh, in games. There are games in which they do very well. But most of the time they just fail hard. Especially against Stalkers. And wow, just so many Stalkers. And yeah, most of the Roaches uh, survive. But yeah, well, some of them get picked off for no reason really. And look at that, just running in some roaches. Probably wrong rally point there, because he definitely didn't want to to run them in like that. That was kind of a silly move. Some um, zealots coming in here to help, and he is going to just harass a little bit with his remaining phoenixes. Um, yeah, a little bit too much defense here on the spore, spore crawls, I would have to say. But he really wants to... Uh, to prevent that drop from happening again, because he had some uh, some trouble defending it the first time, and look at this, just wow, yeah, retreating his entire army just to deal with uh, with three of these uh, phoenixes, and then not even managing to do so, so splitting up his phoenixes to uh, to prevent the 
uh, the kill from one of these fungal growths. Come on, pick him up. Oh, he's going to get one, but not the other one. Um, he didn't even get this one. It's still at one HP. Okay, that is uh, that is crazy. So yeah, I definitely could have picked out that inhibitor, uh, inhibitor, infester the second time, and uh, yeah, just not very good on the uh, well, on the uptake, I guess, and the uh, uh, reflexes. Just not enough APM, not enough map awareness, and not enough memory on what he was doing. Um, yeah, as you can see, the mothership now arrived and is going to cloak everything, including this base. I think it's uh, it's brilliant that you can actually cloak your base. But yeah, we will have to see how effective this is against this army, because uh, well, a lot of uh, uh, brute lords coming up. Well, five brute lords, uh, three more in production, and he still has. 12 of these uh, corruptors, but the corruptors are only good against the mothership in this case. Oh well, and uh, the two colossi that there are. Okay, then it's still worth it. But yeah, the mothership will fight back. Um, it is a pretty hefty unit to build, but uh, it is also a pretty good unit to build. And we'll have to see if uh, he can actually make that work. The Archons coming up. Archons, of course, very good because they have some splash damage. I don't know if they actually nerfed that splash damage by now. Because they've been talking about that. Uh, well, they were talking about that for quite a while. And they did do it at some point. But then it got splash damage again. So first they removed it. Then it got back. But I think it, they nerfed it. Not actually sure. Anyhow, um, yeah, the uh, one army coming over here, the other army over there, and we will have to wait because, well, at some point they will make it. And is he going to recall everyone into that base? Because the mass recall will actually uh, get all of them into the base if they, if he wants to. And okay, here we go. Okay, here we don't go. Desert player falling back a little. He uh, does not have the invisibility detection for the moment. But the fungal growth will do that. The fungal growth will allow you to see the units. And uh, as you can see, the, the roach is just melting here. And there goes the mothership's ability. The vortex. Two vortices, actually. And <laughs> popping in a lot of these eggs. I don't know if they actually will hatch. And I can't really see. Anyway, um, yeah, we have a lot of units out of the f uh, the battle for that little uh, period of time. And are we going to come out ahead? Because the mothership did die. So um, the Protoss unit is now a lot more vulnerable. But the, he does have quite a lot of stalkers still left after the fight really ends. And yeah, going on to the, uh, the bases, because all of these guys are out of uh, energy. They did their part, and um, yeah, just not enough damage dealing units left on the Zerg uh, well, side of the map. And uh, just more and more of these Stalkers coming in. I have to feel that this is the end of the game. There's really nothing he can do at this point. And uh, yeah, the production is just zero. Now he's building Brute Lords somewhere. Um, can't even find them. Oh well, they'll come in eventually. He's building some brute lords, a new mothership coming up, but um, no units coming up for our Protoss player, even though he is not at max. Um, yeah, he is pretty far ahead though, so maybe he's just... Yeah, he's uh, he would add everything on cooldown it seems, because there they are, the new units coming in. And yeah, he's pretty much maxed out. Well, he has uh, 25 uh, food still to uh, to distribute, but it's all good. It's all good. And yeah, just completely wiping out this uh, this base. And yeah, a few of these uh, infested Terrans. Yeah, sure, they're going to take out one Archon, but there are the Brute Lords. Brute Lords are not going to do well against a large number of Stalkers, but this is not a large number of Stalkers. 
And they might not actually be able to take down these Brute Lords for now. Obviously, with this much damage done, he is not going to lose the, the Protoss player. Even if he loses these Stalkers, it's still okay. He is up five bases versus, well, basically one, I think. That's this one. And he is indeed assaulting that one. The Brute Lords will take a long time to go to the other end of the map. And there they go. But they're not going to do anything for this base. Just look at this. It's uh, yeah, completely wiping out this entire base before those Brute Lords are here. And it is not going to be pretty. So the drones will go down if he starts focusing them at some point. But I think he's just busy somewhere else. Over here, maybe? I don't know. Trying to run away, but that's not going to work. Now, there is the GG from our red player. Yeah, he realized that he was losing his final base. Finally going onto those drones, by the way. And, <coughs> sorry, really didn't have anything left on any of his bases. So, um, yeah, hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. GG!